In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best dribble moves for next gen and current gen for NBA 2K23. Not only that, but I'm going to show you the best badges for dribbling, the best tips for dribbling, and the best settings for dribbling in NBA 2K23. 15,000 likes on this video, and I got you guys with a dribble tutorial. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new or if this video helps you out at all. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into this banger, man. Let's get it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. Now, in today's video, I got y'all with the best dribbles for next gen and current gen. Now, I've been hawking current gen lately, so I'm going to be showing current gen clips. I'm going to have some next gen clips soon, but currently, I'm still maxing out my next gen players' badges. But yeah, we're going to be talking about how to get more playmaking badges faster in this video. Badges, tips, with the best playmaking badges, um, the best... Uh, settings for dribbling the best tips for dribbling and of course the best animations to put on for your dribble moves now here is some gameplay of me dribbling around that you got to keep in mind this is just day one of 2k23 and i'm already moving like crazy i know you guys know that it's hard to dribble around with the low stamina that's patched but i'm telling you i got some glitchy moves that y'all can equip that are gonna go crazy i mean look at i'm doing the pullback cheese we shooting over those there's this hezzy that just goes makes you glide across the court that you're gonna to see in a lot of these clips and i have a lot of nice spin bags and just random dribbles that you could dribble out of that are going to give you nice speed boost there's that hezzy i'm talking about i mean that player literally gave up at that possession i mean look at look at it like glides you across the court look at i'm i'm going crazy like i'm literally cooking with these drill moves I, I got a whole three minutes of gameplay to show look at me step back fade i'm looking different and if you want the, oh my god and i'm bowling dudes in the paint but look if you want this build i got the build video on my channel so go check it out if you want the jump shot i got the jump shot on my channel if you want the drill moves well the drill moves are gonna be in today's video i mean look at me go crazy i could not be more happy with my build drill moves and jump shot like there's nothing i would change like i really just got the best build build on the first try look at that spin back that spin back is so nasty so fast especially one of these clips that i'm going to show eventually it were oh my god there's one oh my gosh i mean that is uh, just destroying these defenders they can't guard me look at the momentum the spin back look at, i got no energy right but guess what this is why i have the best build in the game no energy get out my way boy you a little baby. You a little puppy in the paint. You know what I'm saying? There's that hezzy glide again into a finesse layup right there. We got the pullback behind the back. That behind the back can create a lot of space. Another spin back right there. It's just we have so many dribble moves that don't take that much energy out of your adrenaline boost or stamina. That just creates a lot of space. And that's how the dribble moves are going to be this year. It's not going to be like a bunch of people spamming stuff. It's going to be a couple simple dribble moves like that into getting wide open fast and just taking the first shot you see that is open that's how it's gonna be this year with dribbling you want to dribble to score this year not dribble to waste stamina and then not be able to do anything i mean look at that we are just with ease destroying the defender and getting wide open step back green you know my body and not only to mention that i'm 61 and 0 on current gen right now i'm also 8 and 0 on next gen uh i haven't played a lot of an online games on next gen because i'm still getting my baddies over there i have most of my baddies on current gen though so i'm a combined 69 and 0 right now on nba 2k23 i literally haven't lost a game okay not even one game and these drill moves are a big reason why i haven't been losing because i'm just destroying dudes like i'm not even coming close to losing with these drill moves because they are so effective so fast so glitchy so fast which is very important for nba 2k23 because the dribbling is a lot slower than normal year normal years and look at me quick stopper right there we spin him back to the three-point line little cross dribble style out to the three green like Oh my gosh, that spin back is dirty. I mean, where was that guy going? He was jumping off the cruise ship right there, just looking absolutely lost. Oh, right between both defenders with that green. That was crazy too. Behind the back, behind the back again. I mean, he is sliding across the court, not knowing where to go. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm really sizing dudes up and just absolutely getting unlimited baskets with, and it's because of these drill moves that I'm about to show you. So. Yeah, I mean, we're about to show the drill moves in a second here. 
now once again i am grinding next gen and current gen next gen i'm just grinding my player still it's the exact same player on both gens same badges same stats same height you know same everything okay so those videos and those gameplays will definitely be shown soon but anyways let's get in to the information when it comes to dribbling the basketball in nba 2k23 okay y'all let's start with the best settings for dribbling in nba 2k23 now i know i'm on current gen right now but i use these same drill rules on next gen and they work very well like i said i'm undefeated on current gen and next gen uh my current gen record is 61 and 0 right now but anyways let's move on to the settings so you're gonna want to go over here and go to the controller settings now it's pretty simple just make sure your pro stick orientation is on absolute and your off ball offense mode is on absolute this is going to make it to where no matter where you are on on the court your right stick your analog stick is still going to be the same way as you point the stick to do the same drill moves okay and another thing you want to do is pro stick function now if i were you i would just put it on default okay now if you keep accidentally shooting the ball that basically just means you're flicking the right stick that basically just means you're holding the right stick to certain directions for too long and maybe if it gets bad enough you might have to do it drill moves only but yeah i go default for pro stick function and that works just fine for me best dribbling tips for nba 2k23 now as we know there is stamina and there's adrenaline boost now stamina doesn't matter as much as adrenaline boost because once you're out of adrenaline boost it doesn't matter how much stamina you have left you're gonna be just tired you're, you're gonna be looking like a 60 overall so usually when i when we talk about tips for dribbling i always say buy gatorade to be honest i would say don't buy gatorade because once you're out of adrenaline boost it's basically a gg you know what i'm saying so who even cares about gatorade if you if you get open to the point where you still have some adrenaline boost left you're gonna have enough stamina left to shoot the ball right but another tip i have is maybe buy ball handling boost if you're getting ripped a lot and then when it comes to getting playmaking badges what i would do is i would actually go over and play my career whether you're on next gen or current gen go play my career go on hall of fame difficulty and call for a screen on the wing and run all the way to the paint and then throw a lob most of the time the do you throw a lob to is just going to get a contact dunk and it's basically going to be like almost 50k my points every five minute quarter hall of fame game it's literally a glitch you can get max playmaking badges in a day doing that now let's talk about the best playmaking badges in nba 2k23 for dribbling now obviously next gen and current gen share the same badges you might get different badges on certain builds there's also tiers on next gen so it's a little more difficult you know with the tier three badges i'd say the most important playmaking badges is definitely obviously handles for days you're gonna want to have that maxed out quick first step of course is going to be very important so you can run off the dribble very fast unpluckable of course so you don't get ripped even maybe vice grip this is basically so you don't get ripped after you get a rebound that happens a lot now for actual dribbling i would say killer combos is huge this is going to make your dribbling a lot faster when it comes to chaining moves together and more effective and mismatch expert is also very good if you want to break ankles i would recommend a putting on an ankle breaker and if you even have more uh playmaking that is you can use hyper drive as well which will make you faster when attacking down the court but yeah the most important ones are definitely handles for days mismatch expert killer combos and quick first step and unpluckable obviously so yeah those are the best playmaking badges in nba 2k23 now it's finally time let's show you guys the best dribble moves in nba 2k23 current gen and next gen so when it comes to dribble style obviously depending on your build you might unlock certain different different dribble moves but guess what i know the two best dribble styles in the game i don't unlock chris paul but chris paul is also a very good dribble style if you're six five or under or actually under six five now if you're above six five michael jordan is also very good michael jordan is the best dribble style in the game that is the one that i use i have it equipped that is 100 percent my favorite dribble style now signature size ups the best one is definitely paul george this one goes crazy you can speed boost out of this one very fast you get good animations out of a lot of dribbles with paul george it's just 100 percent the best combo signature size up in the game now size of escape i have two different size of escapes that i really like that i've been using paul george is super glitchy i didn't show any paul george size of escape gameplay in this video but basically it has this very glitchy um crossover that you can just spam over and over again i'll show a clip on the screen of it 
uh, and it's very glitchy. But the step back for Paul George isn't that good. So if you want a good step back, you want that AI step back, you definitely want to equip LeBron James. And I like this step back a lot this year because with how the stamina is, that AI step back creates a lot of separation. And that's very important in NBA 2K23. Moving crossovers, 100% James Harden is the best moving crossover. It's so fast. If you're driving down the lane, yo, this crossover will catch your eye because it is faster than a blink of an eye now for some whatever reason if you don't like moving crossover james harden Giannis is also pretty good but james harden is just much better moving behind the backs is zach levine unfortunately there really isn't any good behind the backs this year like there were last year like scotty pippen was really good last year but they completely changed his animation this year it's, it's not good the best one that creates the most separation for me is definitely zach levine especially with how the fast layup packages are this year if you know you know uh but yeah this one just throws you right into that fast layup package and basically makes a lot of your layups unblockable when you use this dribble move when you go down the lane moving spins y'all saw that fast spin i was doing in the video it's basic spin oh my gosh this move might be like one of the fastest moves in the game if you want to destroy your defender this is definitely the basic spin and if you don't like basic for whatever you can use Kawhi, but like basic is by far the best one moving hesitation y'all will know that gliding hesitation i was doing where i'm just flying across the court in that gameplay yeah it's luka Doncic. oh my gosh this is by far the glitchiest dribble move in nba 2k23 it's not even close i mean this is just like almost like the speed glitch almost it is just you are flying across the court with this move moving step backs is luka Doncic. now honestly if i could unlock jimmy butler i would use jimmy butler but for whatever reason i don't unlock it but luka Doncic is very good too it does create a lot of separation and you can beat a lot of people off the dribble with it triple threat style i have michael jordan doesn't really matter too much but anyways those are the dribble moves i have equipped you can take a screenshot, write these down, copy these down, pause the video if you need to. This is what I've been working with. I definitely recommend them. And that's how I am undefeated on both current gen and next gen. They work very well on both. Cannot wait to keep playing both of those games. If this video helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like. 15,000 likes for the dribble tutorial. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.